Hello from Colorado's Mirror Lake. If you like waterfalls, alpine lakes, and incredible mountain views, then I have the hike for you. Right now, I'm backpacking with a few of my friends in the Indian Peaks Wilderness in Colorado, near Granby, Colorado, and we have hiked to Mir and Crater Lakes. This is about a 16 mile round trip hike, and it is freaking beautiful. It's along a just like incredible forested path. You hike to these incredibly beautiful alpine lakes and you get some awesome views. And you see about a million waterfalls along the way. Don't mind my weird angle, by the way. I'm just trying to show you this cool stuff behind me. <laughs> anyway, you can do this as just a day hike if you're feeling ambitious. I've done it as a day hike before, but we got a permit ahead of time so that we could spend the night out here at the lake. And I'm so pumped about that. It's a little cloudy today, but I'm hoping to see some great stars. And we've set up our hammocks along with our tents. So we're having a great time. Anyway, let me take you along on the hike and show you what there is to see. This hike starts at the Monarch Lake Trailhead near Granby, Colorado. While it does have a big parking lot at the trailhead, just know that this trailhead does fill up, especially on weekends. Right off the bat, you pass by beautiful Monarch Lake, and the trail's pretty easy going for the first mile or so. It follows along Monarch Lake, and then it follows along a creek for a while before you start ascending. This trail is about 16 miles round trip. It's an out and back. So if you're ambitious, you could do this as just a day hike instead of a backpack. I've done it just in one day before, and honestly, it felt very doable. I was tired by the end of the day, but not exhausted. However, on that day hike, I saw people camping up at Mirror and Crater Lakes, and it made me really want to go back and camp up there at some point. So I did. I just love this trail because there are so many interesting features along it, even before you get to the incredibly beautiful lakes. You are next to water for quite a bit of it, so don't worry about carrying a ton of water up here. There are a bunch of waterfalls, you're constantly crossing the creek, there's some really beautiful bridges. This trail is well taken care of. If you want to camp up here, as I did, you're going to have to get a wilderness permit for the Indian Peaks Wilderness, specifically the Crater Lake Zone. I got my permit for this as soon as wilderness permits for the Indian Peaks Wilderness opened up way back in April because this is a competitive place to get permits for. Unlike many other wilderness areas where you can just sort of camp and disperse camping and, and go anywhere, specifically up here at Mirror and Crater Lakes, you can only camp in designated campsites. These are first come first served, so you pick a site once you get up there and see what's available. Most of the sites that we checked out were pretty small, but we did find a campsite that fit all four of us with our four tents. Over the 16-ish miles of this hike, you have an elevation gain of about 2,500 feet. Most of this is on the way up to the lakes. The way back down to the trailhead is pretty darn chill. I would consider this hike to be pretty moderate all the way through. The trailhead itself is at 8,400 feet of elevation, so you go up above 10,000 feet. So just know it's probably going to be a bit chillier up at 10,000 feet than it would be, say, in town. We went on this hike in mid-June. And in the mountains of Colorado in mid-June, you're still hitting some snow, and we had a lot of snow melt. It was quite warm in the preceding two weeks that we went, so the snow was just melting out like crazy, and all the streams were pretty full of water. We also hit several blowdowns that we had to go over, under, or around. Unfortunately, Colorado has a real problem with beetles killing our trees. So if there are big windstorms, there tend to be a lot of blowdowns. As you come up to the lakes, you first hit Mirror Lake and then Crater Lake. And there are some really beautiful waterfalls coming down from the mountains above those lakes. Most pronounced is Lone Eagle Peak, which is that pointy mountain there in the distance. It kind of towers over Mirror Lake and I just think it's so pretty. Apparently, you can climb to the top of Lone Eagle Peak, but it is a technical route. So I think you probably need ropes and technical training in order to do it. Personally, it's not something I would be interested in. <laughs> Dogs are welcome on this hike, but you have to keep them on a leash at all times. By the way, 
in mid-June. We were lucky enough to see the early wildflowers of the area. These yellow ones that you see in the video are avalanche lilies. But pretty much as soon as the snow melts in the early summer, they start sprouting up. Colorado has some really incredible wildflowers. I also just can't get enough of the views of the mountains behind the lakes and the reflections that are in the lake from them. I just love this hike. I think it's so pretty. I think it's so doable for many people. And bonus, we saw a moose. Thanks for watching you guys. If you have been to Mirror Lake before and Crater Lake, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hey, check me out over on Instagram at Audie Payne for more real-time updates. I'll talk to you all later.